Hi, we have a new assignment and it's called pourquoi. It's a French word that means why and how we're going to use it is why or how something happened. And so you need to have a beginning, a middle of an end, or you could think of it as an intro, a body, or a conclusion. And you're thinking of how the pig got its curly tail, how the giraffe got its spots and long necks, how the sky became blue. Why are the T-Rex arm, arms so small? How fall came to be? Why the moose got its antlers? How rainbows came to be? And why the turtle has a shell? And it's a cute little picture. Now, I know that you're going to have problems doing this because you'd like to make it into a book. And all we did is we took paper, we made circles, cut them out, folded them all in half, and then we just kept stacking them page by page by page. So this would be one page. I'd stack another on top, another on top, another on top, until I would get this final book. And all I did is I took clear scotch tape, I taped them together, and then I would have my book. And you would just open it up page by page by page. Okay, and the kids from, these are previous ones, title page. And then they have pages. And I would like you to do a minimum of six pages. And this is my book. And it says why the sun sets in the west. And this is how I made this. Mine goes upwards like this. And if you look very carefully, there are mountains. And there inside the cave, there is a monk. And there's my little Japanese symbol. And it says there once was an ancient monk sitting in the high mountains. He would wait for the sun to come up in the south and set in the north every day. He never understood why the north got to see the beautiful red, orange, yellow, and pink hues every night. The mountains blocked his view, and he never saw the sunset. He prayed every night that the sun would set in a new direction. And so the rest of my story goes on, and it has little bits of pictures, and it goes on and on and on, and it tells then how it changed. There was a dragon in mine. He had a terrible roar, and he had an earthquake cause, shook the mountains, and he now has the sun going from east to west, okay? And so they got to see the sunsets. So what your job to do is to create a book, and it could just be typing, so don't worry that you have to try and do a book, How the Stars Came to Be in the Sky. You could make it on anything. It is a total made-up story. Uh, we're trying to get you to be creative. Please don't think that you have to um, look up and do some research. It's not. It's your silliness. Um, I have some other ones here I'll show you. How did the scar stars get above the sky? How the line got its roar? And Samaya, this is your brother Cameron's. Um, how the wolf got his pack? Why did pigs have cur uh, weird noses? How did the pig get its curly tail? How the lion got its mane. How flowers got their petals. How the dog got its bark. Why the grass is green. And oops. Why the moon and stars are so bright. Why butterflies have their wing color. How bees got its buzz. How pandas came to be black and white. How the elephant got its trunk. How the tiger got its stripes and how the panda got its mask. So they just went after an animal because if you think of little kids' books, the majority of them have lots of fun little animals in them. So once again, you're going to come up with a pourquoi book. I'd like six pages, and if you look at this example, you see this is a page. So there's maybe three or four sentences per page. So if you have to do it, it would be a nice essay, probably a two-paragraph essay. Um, and it's got pictures and everything. Do we grade people on pictures? Absolutely not. But there is a pourquoi. I'd like you to try it. Thanks.